Hello students. Today we are going to start with the new topic simultaneous linear equations in two variables. But before starting with the topic, let us go through the various objectives of this chapter. After completing this chapter, students, you will be able to solve the linear equations in two variables by substitution method, elimination method, cross multiplication method and you will be able to solve simple problems by framing appropriate equations. Now students, today we are going to solve simultaneous linear equations in two variables by substitution method. So let us discuss substitution method. Method of elimination by substitution. Now students, as the name of this method is substitution. Now what does substitution means? Substitution means to substitute. Now in this method, we will be given two linear equations in two variables. And from these two linear equation, we will be finding the value of one variable in terms of the another variable. And we will be substituting the value of that variable in the second equation and then that second equation will become a linear equation in one variable and then we'll solve that linear equation in one variable to get the values of both the variables. Now students, let us discuss the substitution method in detail. Now, first of all, we are going to discuss the various steps that are involved in solving the substitution method. Suppose we are given two linear equations in x and y. Step one, express y in terms of x from one of the given equations or express x in terms of y from one of the given equation. This means that students, we can either express y in terms of x or x in terms of y and we can take any of the two equations. Now step number two, substitute the value of y in the other equation to obtain a linear equation in x and solve it for x if you have expressed y in terms of x. If you have expressed x in terms of y, then substitute the value of x in relation taken in step 1 and obtain the value of y. Now students, we are going to discuss some examples based on this method for the better understanding. Now example number 1. Solve 3x minus y is equal to 23 and 4x plus 3y is equal to 48. Now students, we are given two equations in terms of x and y and we are going to solve these two equations using the substitution method. For that, we have written the two equations first. That is 3x minus y is equal to 23. This is our equation number one. 4x plus 3y is equal to 48. This is our equation number 2. Now, as we have discussed that either we are going to express y in terms of x or x in terms of y. Now, if we see these two equations, in equation number 1, we have a simple variable as y only, which has no coefficient along with it. Now, we are going to express y in terms of x from equation number 1. So, we have written 3x minus y equal to 23. So, minus y will come this side and 23 will come this side. So, on shifting, we get 3x minus 23 is equal to y. Now, this will become our equation number 3rd and this is our step number 1. Now, for step number two, we are going to substitute the value of y in the second equation. 
So on substituting, we get 4x plus 3 bracket 3x minus 23 bracket close is equal to 48. Now this becomes a linear equation in one variable. Now we are going to solve our linear equation in one variable. For that, first of all, we are going to do the arrow method. We get 4x plus 9x minus 69 is equal to 48. Now what is 4x plus 9x? That is 13x. And this minus 69 will be shifted to that side. So we get 13x is equal to 48 plus 69. That is 13x is equal to 117. Now we are going to shift 13 to the other side. On shifting, we get x is equal to 117 upon 13. Now we are going to do the cutting of 117 and 13. So on doing cutting, we get x is equal to 9. So now with this value of x, we are going to find the value of y. Now we are going to substitute the value of x is equal to 9 in equation number third. So on substituting, we get 3 into 9 minus 23 is equal to y. So what is 3 into 9? That is 27 minus 23 is equal to y. On subtracting, we get y is equal to 4. So hence, x is equal to 9 and y is equal to 4 are the values of x and y. Now students, let us discuss one more sum for the better understanding. The second example is, x plus y equal to 7 and 3x minus 2y equal to 11. Now x plus y equal to 7 is equation number 1. 3x minus 2y equal to 11 is equation number 2. Now we have taken our equation number 1 that is x plus y equal to 7. Now we are going to express x in terms of y that is x is equal to 7 minus y that is our equation number 3. Now we are going to substitute the value of x in equation number 2. On substituting we get 3 bracket 7 minus y bracket close minus 2y equal to 11. Now, this is equation in one variable. Now, we are going to solve it. For that, we are going to apply arrow method. So, on multiplying, we get 21 minus 3y minus 2y equal to 11. Now, 21 will be shifted to the other side. Minus 3y and minus 2y is minus 5y. So, minus 5y equal to 11 minus 21. So minus 5y equal to minus 10. So now y will be equal to minus 10 upon minus 5. Now minus minus will get cancelled. And we are going to do the cutting of 10 and 5. So on doing cutting we get y is equal to 2. Now we are going to put y equal to 2 in equation number 3, on substituting, we get x is equal to 7 minus 2, which is x is equal to 5. Hence, the solution for our sum is x is equal to 5 and y equal to 2. Now students, you have got a worksheet in your SNAP homework. Solve that worksheet. Thank you and have a nice day.